NW Root Beer Cans. Flinging revolvers are awesome! Slamfire makes them even better! Whilst dual wielding rear prime blasters was technically possible with a bit of shoelace, you could even spin them if you timed it right. Heck yeah! It was Hammer Prime that made genuine dual wielding possible. By the way, that's how you genuinely dual wield. So the chunky zombie strike hammer shot or the sleek rebel angel fire or super strike. There's nothing like single-handed priming and blasting. My favourite hammer prime revolver is this drastically minimised lawbringer. It's a beast. As good as they are, these five shot blasters will never be real six shooters because, well, they've only got five shots. What about the 3D printed six and seven shot barrels? Quiet, Mr. T-Rex, you're spoiling the narrative. I wish there were a hammer prime blaster with six shots and... Arr, I be the fairy god pirate mother. I wasn't finished. And I be granting your wish. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boop. Good heavens. It's a... Battle Royale Hailstorm is a revolver with six darts. It comes with a target. It is up to 10 meters. <laughs> At least they're honest. Darts included. Well, there's a relief. It's Wolverine's cousin, Taylor Swift, and that guy from Killer Instinct. Has he been all these years? This isn't quite what I wanted. I wasn't finished yet. I was going to say a six shot Hammer Prime revolver with an excessively long barrel. Don't be ungrateful. I'm going to unbox it anyway. Battle Royale. Oh my goodness. How on earth did they get Taylor Swift to agree to that? <laughs> that does not sound good. I'll get up here. Oh, wait, we've got to do this properly. Hello, bro chaps, I'm Joel, and this is a review of the, what is this? Battle Royale Hailstorm. In the box, we have the Battle Royale Hailstorm Air Blaster. Blaster comes with six darts and a target. Blaster makes a pingy noise when you fire it. There's a tack rail on top of the blaster, which is genuinely incompatible with end strike attachments. On the underside of the blaster, there is a sling attachment point and on the handle, too. Tactics, my metaphorical siblings from another sapien. Load this blaster, place darts in here. Operate this blaster, prime the hammer, and fire. This blaster is compatible with N-Strike Elite Size Darts. The darts this blaster comes with are much shorter than Elite Darts. Interesting. That'll get around the copyright issues. Look at this, it's not even pretending. Handle is a good size. Right, let's fire three Elite Darts. Level. <laughs> and three of the darts it came with, because I've lost the other three. Well, 10 meters is probably about right. Three elite darts perform very badly. The three darts it came with perform marginally better. At least they're honest. I digress. But it's still not quite right. Real six shooters have excessively long barrels. Like in that documentary about circus crime. A nice long barrel like this. And it should be really orange. Wait, orange? I don't want... Arr, bibbidi, bobbidi, boop. Good heavens. Why orange? I don't know! They're Fortnite 6SH! It's been tangoed! It's got blue camouflage on it! Where am I gonna hide in an orange background with flecks of blue on it? Wait, is that camo or is that a dolphin? That's a dolphin! What's going on? Comes with camo pulse wrap. What's that Pokemon Rainbow Smash's trainer doing there? And who's he? Where's his nose? This is turning into quite the existential exercise. That's what we wanted though. Hammer priming action, six start rotating drum, Hasbro, you thought of everything! And look at that barrel! And camo pulse wrap! I'm really excited about the camo pulse wrap. It's actually Sniper Rifle Legendary SR Pump SG! With which nerf darts are not compatible. Don't you worry, Hasbro. I'm sure someone else has made ammo that's compatible with your blasters. And there they are again. Who is this guy? Got an electronic tag in its ear! Good heavens above. What does S8 stand for? Shooter? You crazy, Fortnite. Okay, what have we got here then? Okay, so it's an attachment. Wait, but is it an attachment? That does not look like a standard attachment to me. I bet it goes on and doesn't come off. Where's my pulse camo wrap? It says here, camo pulse wrap. Where's my camo pulse wrap? I was all excited about being able to wrap myself in camo pulse. That is a big handle. The handle is very large. You mean to tell me the camo pulse wrap was just metaphorical? Was that the camo pulse wrap? Wow, this is deep. Genuine phenomenological experience. I wanted camo pulse wrap. False advertising. They just forget to put it in. I don't know. Still can't get over quite how big this handle is. 
Now this is a big attachment. By the looks of this, this is not designed to come back off once it's gone on, which is a bit disappointing. Although it does fulfill my requirement of an incredibly long pistol. That is a dolphin. Tell me that's not a dolphin. I'm gonna put this on right now on the basis that I think I can take it off and maybe modify it later to be able to be removable. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to modify it so you can put it on and take it off again at will, which is kind of a cool thing to be able to do. And look, you can shake it around, it doesn't come off. Wow, that's really twisty. Do all the others do that too? Strong arms definitely don't do that. The other one doesn't really do it either. But that does do that. Every now and again, you find a blaster that makes some kind of a noise or does something that's slightly out of the ordinary. That's up there with the Rev Reaper. Should be a musical instrument. I just want to be part of your symphony. It's like that musical instrument from school. Do you remember that one? Nothing happened. <gasps> what on earth was I even talking about? Ooh, these are funky Fortnite darts. Look at these. These are Team Dauntless colors. Streamline pink with baby blue. Anyway, review mode. In the box, we have the blaster. We have the barrel, which is not attached. And we have six of these rather fetching baby blue and streamlined pink dauntless colored darts. But no camo pulse wrap. Assembly of the blaster seems pretty easy. A little bit too easy. Inside the barrel, you can probably see these little clips there and there. And as soon as that goes over the top of these lips here, it's meant to stay in place and never come out again. It clicks on and it never comes out again. I'm going to be looking at how to deal with that later. But in the meantime, let's get on with the review. I wanted a six shot hammer prime revolver with a massive barrel. And that's what I got with dolphins. Detailing on the blast is pretty cool. You've got some nice big screws and that, that thing there and that thing there. Don't know if they're meant to be screws or what they're meant to be. It actually looks really nice and cartoony. I love the way it kind of plays out. And actually the whole blaster kind of does that. You see, it kind of goes like that. That's a technical term. And a lot of the Fortnite stuff kind of does that. Earth and Fortnite are only printed on one side, but the camo pulse wrap appears on both sides. I guess this must be the camo pulse wrap. I am disappointed that it's not something that was actually in the box for me to put on myself though. We're gonna forgive them because it does this. That is awesome. Barrel is massive. Sorry, just had to recreate that scene. Sybil. NW root beer cans. And got the bonus can there. Use only official nerf darts. The Fortnite rocket launcher. Mr. T Rex's eggs. There it goes, one of them. There's two of them. Cups. No fence strike elite logo. Number five. I have to say, accuracy-wise, this seems pretty cool. Throwing you on the length of the barrel, as soon as you point it at a target, you're kind of halfway there anyway. Six shots flat. Performance there was a little bit variable, but that's to be expected with revolvers. First one there, probably just below 30 feet. That's just above 30 feet. Although I think that one bounced off of that. Then the rest of those looking like they're kind of comfortably above 40 feet. Covered all six darts. When does that ever happen? Angled shots. That's in my gutter. Tree. on my neighbor's conservatory. And that hit the tree too. Right, time for the accuracy test. Six shots, 10 feet. Six shots, 20 feet. Six shots, about 30 feet. <laughs> Good heavens above. Okay. I hate to say it, but I almost feel like this blaster is happier with X-Shot darts. Whoa, I can still spin it, but I nearly took my shoulder off. <laughs> It spins quite easily because there's a lot of momentum, but you feel like it's going to take your eye out when it comes back towards you. 
or your shoulder. Tones performance with fresh elite darts or x shop darts actually does rather well, I feel. Revolvers can tend to be a little bit finicky because there is going to be a little bit of variability in terms of how well it shoots. Having a decent dart does definitely help, and like I've already said, fresh elite darts or x shot darts I found to perform the best today. Should also mention that doing this to the blaster right before firing it might also impact the degree to which the darts are sitting properly in their barrels. Doing something like that might kind of shake them out a little bit, or it might kind of, you know, might make them be in a suboptimal place in terms of how far down the barrel they should be. Would I run this in a Nerf war? Heck yes. Like, one second. Hi, I'm Jolt, and sometimes I wear a gilet, and I'd run this in a Nerf war. Oh yeah, it's great fun, and I love the fact that you can do that with it. There's something about stuff that makes noises that's fun. I still feel rightly or wrongly disappointed that I didn't get any camo pulse wrap inside the box. I was just expecting like a little accessory, like maybe a buff or something, but anyway, there's no, I didn't find any camo pulse wrap in my box. Maybe you'll find some in your box. Maybe it's already on the blaster. Maybe I'm missing something. The problem is I don't play Fortnite, but I am glad my blast has a dolphin on it. I don't have any other Nerf blasters with dolphins on them, so that's nice. And I've also realized whilst using this blaster, I could hide there, there, there. Possibly against those bricks, but you're pushing it. Or amongst the oranges. I had a giant pool of tango at home. I could jump out of that too, like some kind of a navy seal or something. It'd be an orange seal, really. Oh, 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 the noise a seal makes. Anyhow, now I'm interested in taking this off again and seeing if we can't do something to make this a little bit more flexible with regards to its stuck on status. First things first, gonna take out all of these screws here. And then we're going to take out the rest of these screws as well. By the way, two different kinds of screws in this blaster. The shorter screws go in the bottom. The longer screws go everywhere else. So the bottom, one, two, three. Yeah, so we've got some solvent welding along the top here that needs breaking. It wasn't solvent welding at all. There was another screw there I forgot to take out. I can confirm there was zero solvent welding whatsoever. And here's a quick shot of the internals, which as you can see, looks very much like a hammer shot's priming mechanism or a lawbringer priming mechanism, which you can see through the shell of the blaster here. And I have to confess just now, when I opened the blaster, this little bit here came out. I haven't got a clue where it came from in the blaster, but the blaster seems to function just fine without them. It's probably like your appendix. This piece here was originally slotted in just there. So you can see this tab here and this tab here are actually holding the rest of this in place right now. Reassembling this is really, really easy. It's just a case of taking the barrel and placing it right around there. And you can see it fits over these two kind of um, screw knobs there. Then the top piece goes over the top. And like I say, it's quite a snug fit. So you just push it down until it all clicks back into place. I'm also gonna briefly put this back together as well so that you can see that you don't actually need to have this disassembled to do this. I'm gonna file down these lips right here. I'm not gonna file them all the way down. I'm just gonna round them out a little bit, which should hopefully mean that this can kind of push on and pull back off again. So it shouldn't fly off when you're running around with it in a Nerf war, but there should be enough bit to hold it in place while still allowing you to take it off when you want it off. Just rounding it out. We're just interested in rounding it off a little bit. Not completely removing it, just rounding it off. See so yeah, how this one's a lot more jagged, whereas this one's a little bit more rounded off now. Maybe I'll just get that corner a little bit more too. There we go, and that should do just fine. Let's go to the other side now, just so it's kind of sloping back towards me, so it should mean it can pop out as, easy, as easily as it pops on. There we go, and I think we are about ready. Moment of truth, and on it goes, and off it comes as well. So we go on, we can shake it all about, I'm giving this a really... Maybe I took off a little bit too much. Gotta be a little bit, not extreme with the shaking, but in terms of running, I feel like I could just... Let me just run with this. So this is a running motion right now. I'm running with this. I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of... I'm shaking it about like that. I'm kind of turning with it and, um, and it's staying on. Just now when I was deliberately trying to shake it off, I'm pretty sure you can... Well, I did see you could shake it off just now. Let me do it again. Okay, so I actually deliberately... Okay, so if you really, really try to, you can shake this off. It is entirely possible, but just in terms of normal use, if you just kind of make it so there's a little bit of, a, of, a, of an upwards slope as opposed to a dead, and you take it off as well. And this doesn't, in the slightest bit, affect the way it fires and performs. So I can put some darts in. There's a dart right there. And off we go. <laughs> I actually bounced back and hit the camera, which was what that noise was. I wonder if I could repeat that. Second. No, there's no repeating that kind of thing twice. That bounced back and hit the camera. Enemy sighted. Bully, 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 bully. Bully, bully. Huh? Oh no, my barrel's just not long enough.
I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join us at Phone Fest tomorrow, and this is Justin Jolt signing off. One of these in. That has emboldened me. Yeah, I see no reason why this shouldn't eventually end up with its own barrel attachment, and maybe that's something we'll do later. <laughs> it shouldn't be that much. We should start a band with musical Nerf Blasters.